Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding Hives. Today we are solving a problem to find the longest word in a sentence. I will show you a secret Python function that most beginners don't even know exists and once you learn it, you will start using it everywhere. So what is the problem? We are given a sentence like this. Our task is to find the longest word. Here the answer should be programming, right? Because it has the most letters. First, we will approach this problem using a simple beginner loop, okay? So, first, this is our sentence. Next, we need to split these sentences into a list of words, okay? So, for that, we can write words is equal to split function splits the sentences into a list of words. For example, I will show you by printing uh, these words here. You can see we are getting I love programming. These three elements are in this list. Okay. Now we need to find the longest word, right? So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm declaring a variable like a longest word. Okay. Initially it will be null. Okay. Now I need to check the length of each element in the list. Okay. That is the thing I'm going to do next. So for that, I can write for word in words okay so here i can check if uh, length of the current word i mean this word uh, greater than this uh, length of this longest word that means the current word is longest okay if so we need to save uh, that word to the longest word so i am writing like this longest word is equal to word so here we start with an empty string because we have not found any word yet okay and we go word by word through the list and if the current word is longer than the longest word so far we replace it okay now we need to print this print longest word okay now i will uh, try to run this you can see this is the longest word we are getting okay so here the time complexity of this solution is order of n only as we check each word only one time okay also space complexity is order of n why because for storing the list of words we are using an extra memory okay now there is a hidden problem like uh, in the case of punctuation right what if our sentence is something like i love programming then there will be some exclamation or some punctuation marks okay in this case what we need to do is we need to remove the punctuations before we split the sentence right so we can do uh, the trick i told in the introduction so i will make uh, this code comment and now here we are using one function from the string import string And next to what we need to do is we can write something like this sentence is equal to sentence dot translate then we can use str dot make trans I will explain it don't worry then a string dot punctuation okay now i will tell you this string dot punctuation means this is a ready-made string in python that contains all punctuation characters this string dot punctuation is a ready-made string in python that contains all punctuation characters uh, like uh, exclamation mark hash dollar percentage like that almost all the uh, punctuation marks will be in this string dot punctuation okay and now what this str make trans function will do is there is three arguments for this make trans function right the first argument means what to replace so here we are no we no need to replace anything we are just need to remove the punctuation mark that is why the first two arguments are empty string okay so in this case we just need to remove the punctuation marks right that is why because we used here empty string otherwise the first empty string means what to replace okay second argument means what we need to replace with that okay so in this case we no need to replace anything that is why we put here 
empty string okay we need to just remove the punctuation so we put like this okay now this translate function what it does is i mean this function what it does is it goes through each character in the string and deletes anything in the third argument okay so this function will go through each character in the string dot punctuation and if anything is in our string sentence then it will remove it okay so that is a working of this thing now we will uh, do the remaining code clear uh, for example i will try to print our sentence here i will uh, copy from here and i will paste it here you can see this was our input right i love programming and after this function applying this translate function you can see this exclamation mark is not there okay Now, uh, the remaining as the same, like uh, we did here, we can just copy from here. Now, we will uh, try to run this. You can see we are getting the output, okay. So, here only the changes we used uh, a function to remove the punctuation marks, okay. Now, I will give you one more example with this uh, trans func translate function so that you will get a better clarity like what these two arguments mean. Okay, then we will go for the next method to solve this problem. So, here I will explain that with an example so that you will get a clarity like this is our text. Okay, for example, I have a text like apple and now what I am going to do is I am going to create a table. Table is equal to str then dot or function make trans okay and here what i need to do is i need to replace a and p with a uh, for example i can give a b and q okay so this means i need to replace a and p with a b and q okay that is the meaning of this make trans function here clear now i will write like this new text new text is equal to then text dot translate then i can pass this table as argument here i no need to remove anything just i need to replace a and p with the b and q okay so now we will uh, try to print our new text you can see here print new text okay so we will try to run this you can see we got instead of a it comes p b right and instead of uh, p it comes q okay you can see here right so that is the use of this uh, translate and make trans function clear now we will move for the next uh, method using a max function i will make a comment of these all things so now we will uh, solve this problem with a max function okay so here also we are removing the punctuation marks if any is there so yeah, i am using the same thing so and uh, and after that we are just splitting the uh, string into a list of words okay next what i need to do is i need to find the longest word using the function max okay so here i can write um longest word is equal to we can write the function max and here I can write words. Then here we can add key is equal to length. Okay. That means it tells Python when comparing words, compare their length. Okay. So now if I am uh, trying to print this um, longest word, you can see. This one uh, programming just I will make it clear here then we will uh, run this this one we are getting okay clear so here also the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of n okay now we will approach the same problem with a single line of code this we can simply uh, change here we will do like this here we can just uh, do like this print max 
then sentence dot split then here it's not less comprehension okay now we can solve the same uh, problem with a single line of code okay so this much is needed like uh, we are may are removing the punctuation marks then i can uh, make a single line of code like this print max of uh, sentence uh, then dot split then here key is equal to length that means we need to compare by the length of the word okay so now we will try to run this code because you can see we are getting the output okay so today we learned how to split a sentence into words how to remove punctuations using translate and str.makerans and three different methods to find the longest word okay so i hope you got a clarity how it was that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.